Hey, what's going on guys? Like Butter here, bringing you a Gears of War 3 gameplay commentary on Anvil today. We're playing some TDM, and I wanted to do a commentary today because I wanted to talk about something very specific, and I've kind of never said something about this before, but I just want to talk to you guys about it a little bit. Maybe kind of, um, I don't know, get your opinions on what you guys think, stuff like that. So, what I was thinking about... And I'm going to do some comparisons to like Call of Duty and stuff like that. Uh, what I want to know is, do you guys think that Epic is involved in the community? But not, I'm not saying like the community as in the Epic forums. I'm saying the community as in the YouTube community. I actually had a funny um, message come up the other day. Uh, I think somebody left a comment on my last commentary saying, Drew, um, there has been a lot of bullshit going on, blah, 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 why don't you record it and post it? You're one of the biggest Gears channels. You're go uh, you think Epic doesn't watch your videos? And my response to that it was, of course they don't watch my videos. I am, I, I'm pretty sure, about 98% sure that Epic doesn't watch YouTube videos at all. Um, and this is why I'm so sure of that, because if you ever see, like, they never ever mentioned anything about the YouTube community in their, like, in their interviews, in their, like, blogs, in their, uh, forums, nothing at all. And I think it's kind of unfair to the people who make videos, because I know alone, myself, um, I've had probably, since Gears of War 3 came out, probably 200 to 300 messages from people who said they weren't going to get Gears of War 3, but they got it because they enjoyed my videos, they, they thought the game looked cool, and they wanted to try it out, and they love it. So, that goes for not only Gears of War 3, but I'm assuming back in Gears 1 days as, as well. And I'm not saying I'm the only channel that brings this. I'm sure a lot of people buy this game because of Gold Glove. I'm sure a lot of people buy this game because of Iceman, of, you know, anybody, even smaller channels. Even if you got 500 subscribers, you know, you probably eventually made somebody buy this game. And... I mean, that's just kind of like, you know, word of mouth when you're making videos and stuff like that. But I just think it's kind of messed up how Epic doesn't acknowledge those people that are making them hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And, uh, I mean, I don't think, like, for personally, like, I'm just saying, if you take a look at the Call of Duty community, you got those big people as in, you know, um, like, Hutch. Uh, for like Call of Duty and stuff, and then you got like White Boy 7th Street and X Jaws and all those huge commentators that actually received like, um, they got like Modern Warfare 3 early. They get, I'm pretty sure they get benefits, uh, they get sponsors and stuff, and nobody from the Gears of War community really gets any recognition for how much they help the company out. And I just, I don't know, my thoughts about it is it kind of sucks because if we want to kind of put our opinions out there, and I'm not saying like they should pay me for like a percentage that I that I do or what anything like that. And look at this Mira freaking out on the floor. I thought this was pretty funny. Uh, but anyways, I'm not talking about that, but maybe like sending me stuff as in like maybe um, epic headsets or epic controllers or stuff like that so that I can maybe do giveaways to you guys. Because this is obviously a lot of people watch my videos and I think it would be cool to get us more involved with Epic. So I want to know if you guys think that Epic pays attention to these people making, you know, montages and videos and stuff like that. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments from people saying, well, Drew, Epic's like this huge company and they worry more about the single player players and stuff like that. But you guys would be kind of surprised, and I'm sure some of you guys will admit this, that you probably bought Gears of War 3 because you saw somebody on YouTube. I'm not saying it was it, like it's me or anything like that, but I'm saying... It, that's just how things work. I know there's been plenty of times when I've seen Let's Plays or something like that, and I'm like, oh, this game looks cool, and, uh, you know, I go out and buy it. But, I mean, that's just one example. And I just feel like maybe that's what's keeping this community from growing is just the lack of involvement that Epic has with the community. And I'm not saying that as far as, like, the Epic forums. It seems like I'm not, a, like, on the Epic forums. I don't really go on there. But for somebody, for one of you guys who does, can you tell me if that's where they kind of 
uh, interact with most of the people because I'm pretty sure there's only a you know extremely small percentage of people who play this game or have bought this oh, game who actually go on the epic forums and um, I don't know I just want to I don't know I just want you guys to let me know what you think um, so this is just kind of a split between um, you know YouTube creators like you know YouTube players and you know I think it's kind of unfair because I'm pretty sure epic got very involved with the competitive community and there's n like you know no like I think competitive gaming is awesome it's just something different I understand that you know they're going to these events and stuff but you know Gears of War I don't even think got picked up and look at this I was trying to go for a double headshot with boom how sick would that have been picked up the double anyways but um, it's funny because FaZe was telling me how he got a double headshot with the boom and uh, I think I go down here and get another headshot with it let's see yeah look at that <laughs> that's pretty funny uh, but anyways um, they got very involved I know a lot of the um, competitive players got gears early and stuff like that and I just want to know why the YouTube community kind of gets left out on that stuff when YouTube is actually a, a bigger audience and, and most likely makes them more money so I just want to hear what your guys' thoughts are about that it's just kind of been eating at me for a while and I, I never really wanted to say anything because I didn't want you guys to come off and think of me as like you know being cocky or something or thinking that I should be getting benefits from Epic because you know obviously that's not true but as far as just you know getting involved with anybody who makes them a lot of money you know because um, I feel like without us obviously without the community this wouldn't be as big as it is and even as it is the Gears of War 3 community isn't enormous like it's, it's no comparison to like you know maybe even a Halo I, I think Halo is bigger than uh, Gears was I'm pretty sure it is anyways um, I, I know that Halo Reach was a little bit smaller but anyways uh Call of Duty is definitely huge, and I'm just wondering what that next game is going to be, you know, because obviously we're not going to be playing um, Gears of War 3 our entire life. I I'm wondering if, I I'm hoping that a new game comes out, maybe Gears 4, or maybe even a sequel, or, you know, like a game that's kind of like Gears, but different. Because obviously they can't build much off of the storyline they have now, but you never know. Maybe there'll be a game like it that we'll be able to transfer over to. But anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this commentary. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and tell me your opinion. Uh, you know, be harsh on me if you have to be. be if you think I'm being a, you know, um, a selfish dickhead for thinking that they should get involved, let me know in the comment section, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy, guys.